So hello, my name is Katie Rains, and I'm the executive director of Grub. So we're here at the Grub Farmhouse in West Olympia and we're going to take a stroll over our two acre farm and show you around. Since before it was Grub, since 1993, um, there was the Kitchen Garden Project and over the last 24 seasons um, we've built about um, just under 3,000 gardens for family members in our community with limited incomes. Um, so I'll take you around front now actually and show you the um, Victory Garden Project demonstration bed. Um, these are pretty weedy right now but Normally this would be what the families receive for a backyard garden. So it's three four by eight beds with a big pea trellis that um, also is great for morning glory as you can see here. It takes about two and a half hours. We hammer together the frames. We bring a couple yards of fresh soil from Great Western Supply. We leave them with plant starts and some seeds and a growing guide. The funny part is a lot of people drive by and they think that this is the farm. Um, and this is about 300 square feet of growing space. So I'll take you to the actual farm now. Uh, and you can see what we've really got going on back there. We think of ourselves as a community farm and we invite folks to come check it out any old time. Um, but we ask that you do close the gate because the deer really love to nibble on all of the fresh goods that we grow. So we've had a variety of partnerships that have made this whole site possible. This land used to be owned by Bonnie Turner and her family and we had the chance to buy it in 2009, which is when we built the farmhouse. This was her garage and it's all that remains of her old property. It's now our walk-in cooler where folks can come and pick up CSA shares. Um, everyone will do the harvest together, they'll wash the produce together, and then we'll go through and put everything into each of the CSA boxes, which stands for Community Supported Agriculture. So you can buy a share at the beginning of the year, and then you get fresh produce every week for the growing season. Now we do a little bit of rainwater collection for tool washing, particularly. This mural here uh, was uh, painted in 2004 when we hosted the National Rooted in Community Youth Leadership Summit. And it's really an opportunity for young people and programs like ours um, to recognize themselves as part of something bigger, as part of a movement that's connecting youth with leadership, um, with becoming champions for a better food system for everyone. I'll show you what's growing so far. Um, and I credit our farm manager, Heather. Um, both our farm manager and main farm assistant are female farmers, which is kind of a cool movement these days. So here's our farm. As you can see, some of it's just barely been planted and tilled. We've got a lot of brassicas going here, some kale, some collards, some squash. We call this the Taj Mahal. It's a little bit taller than we anticipated. Um, and so it's got that kind of glorious arcing thing, but it's one of the spaces that feels like forever summer. A lot of nice salad greens going so far. We do have um, nine chickens here on the farm. They love roaming wild and helping get all the, the grubs and pests out of the garden for us. So it's a sunny day and there's lots to forage today. So they're going, um, they're, they're going full swing right now. Um, I heard from the Beekeepers Association that fewer than half the hives, I don't know if they've released the exact number, but to their knowledge, fewer than half the hives in Thurston County made it through the winter. Um, so really being a friend to pollinators it's important work right now, planting bee-friendly plants and avoiding chemicals. So the tomatoes are brand new. The hot crops are just going in, tomatoes and cucumbers. We call this the Hilton. And we've got an assortment of carrots and beets and kale, lettuce, mustard greens. Plenty of weeds too. The garden is never finished. So we call this our little nature trail. And about four years ago, an Eagle Scout made this little bridge for us. Um, over the seasonal creek. This is another volunteer-made project, so we call this the community seed shed. Um, so inside is seed storage, because we have grown a lot the last few years and started running out of space. Um, but this is a beautiful mural that one of our volunteers did. So the whole thing was constructed by volunteers. Got this beautiful seed mural. And then um, we have a team of volunteers who maintain this, but these are just free seeds. We get a lot of seeds donated. Um, Ed Hume is particularly generous with us, but so many others um, give us seeds. Uh, farmland that has been used by community members and by Grubbs founders since the mid-90s, since 1996, um, to connect people with their food. We were able to buy it, and now it's in a 99-year lease and owned by the Farmland Trust. So um, as Olympia is developing so quickly, this urban lot um, could have been uh, prime real estate for development, for new housing development, potentially even apartments one day. So for now, um, in this sanctuary of all these trees, um, this, this property is secure. 
So that's basically the farm. We checked out the play fields, the demonstration gardens, the farm itself, and our nature trail. We're back here at the farmhouse. So thanks for your time today. Thanks for checking out Grub. If you ever want to come see it for yourself, it is open to the community. So just come on by and make sure to close the gate behind you so you don't let the deer in. Um, have a great growing season and thanks for stopping by.